Rams on InfoWars.com went into the comment sections and gave out the uh, cop that shot that guy in cold blood in the back's home address and said people should go after him. We don't get in trouble when that happens. The Secret Service and FBI just show up with subpoenas and get your IP address. So I hope you enjoy that, whoever did that. You know, we, we, we put those comment sections up for you. I didn't have them for years. People said, why, don't, why can't we comment? Because of crap like that. But you know what? We're leaving it all up, and uh, it's your problem. It's your problem we just got subpoenaed by the FBI. What's that FBI agent's name? Come on in here, Mike Nelson. Sam something. And, the, and, then, and then the subpoena comes through the fax machine. <laughs> I'm eastbound. Oh, here's the best part. He's, he's hot on your tail. And he ain't gonna rescue your in jail. So you got to dodge him. You got to duck him. You got to keep that diesel trucking. Get that hammer down and give me hell. Hey, uh, what's that FBI agent's name? Huh? Ben what? Sam Ben. Ben Sam. Ben Sam. It's bound. Bandit run. I'm going to keep Mike five minutes in the next hour if he can do it. I apologize for making him whole while I rant. But, um... In one case with IP addresses with the Secret Service, it turned out the same person to try to burn us was posting comments saying, uh, go after, you know, uh, whack Barack Obama. Got to be careful even saying that. People edit that together on the web and have already done it to make it sound like I'm saying that. And then they would post it on top of it, how dare you, I'm reporting you to police that InfoWars is allowing this. And we don't have the personnel to go censor these comments, to go to go uh, restrict these comments. We got a few keywords like the N-word or uh, uh, K-I-L-L, a politician. And then that screws up the servers. It's got to scan the comments before it posts it. But then when the FBI calls, we do have to... Uh, you know, uh, take the post down when we've been subpoenaed and uh, do all of that. So, so thanks a lot. My guys were in here at 8 o'clock in the morning having to erase all those comments on every story about how go, go out and, you know, go after this, uh, this, this bad cop's family. That's what they were saying. And uh, then we're so busy around here, no one had even told me until I was presented with the uh, subpoena. So, uh, again, that's the fun going on around here. I need to be able to hire two or three people just to handle all the dirty tricks and things that go on here. Now, the person wasn't laughing last time who staged all that because they thought they were going to get us in trouble, and they got in trouble. Hey, let me explain something, dummies. When you write that, you are the ones that have the problems, not me. So this is probably another dirty trick, and you are going to have the FBI come down on your butt. Mike Rivero, go ahead, sir. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of dirty tricks going on, and uh, yeah, we have to deal with the same thing ourselves. Where uh, you know we're having to take off uh, uh, members' posts. In our in our case, since uh, you have to be a paid member to post, we have ID information on everybody, so it keeps some of the nonsense down. But yeah, there's uh, you know Israel has openly admitted they're recruiting people to try and go out on the blogs and cause as much trouble as they can. So is the Pentagon. And yeah, and this may very well just be more of this uh, same thing. And, yeah, uh, stick the FBI on them. Unfortunately, if it does track back to somebody in one of those government agencies... Stay there, stay there. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. I've told you for a long time it's important to be self-sufficient. And today, that's more important than ever. We need to be independent, and food and water is the key. You'll never have to stand in a bread line if you have your own bread. You'll never have to go to the Superdome and beg for FEMA to take care of your family in any emergency if you simply prepare. No one is going to take care of your family in the final equation but you. You know eFoodsDirect.com is still able to ship storable food that's safe from E. coli, salmonella, genetic alteration, or Chinese imports. And they do it at almost half the cost of last year's grocery prices. Call 1-800-409-5633 or on the web go to eFoodsDirect.com. Visit eFoodsDirect.com and look over the fine list of high-quality, freeze-dried, and dehydrated foods they have to offer. Watch the free videos, look at their online catalog, or give them a call at 1-800-409-5633. Again, 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Take action today. The first step is getting storable food. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. 
You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, into hour number three. Your phone calls, I promise, for all of you that are patiently holding, coming up in the next segment directly. Mike Rivero, I've been ranting and raving the last 30 minutes, and you were finishing up a point you were making um, about the things that are going on. But I want to go back to the question when your video feed was cutting out to us about the, how he's setting up domestic, separate from government brigades, but then they have governmental ad council ads saying join Barack Obama's service uh, group, USAService.org, and that it's the government promoting his own private group. I mean, is that not classic fascism? Well, it absolutely is, but more than that, it is simply a scam, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to transfer a lot of the functions of government onto volunteer groups who are going to feel really good and warm and fuzzy about doing all these wonderful things in their community, but it's not going to result in taxes going down. It simply means taxes are going to go toward paying off the, all these huge debts, the trillions of dollars worth of money that the Federal Reserve has been printing up and handing out over the last four months. That's all going to fall on us, so our taxes are going to go up to pay for it all, but because the government can't afford to do any services anymore. They're just a collection agency for the bankers now, so they're trying to talk us into doing for ourselves all the things we pay government to do. And the bottom line is, if we're going to do all this stuff, if we're going to take care of the elderly and we're going to go out and patch the roads and we're going to go paint things and fix things ourselves, what do we even need a government for? Certainly not one that's taking more than half of everything oh. that we earn. Mike, you hit the nail completely through the board there. That's it. They're saying, get ready for austerity. Get ready to have to go out and do these functions for government. Meanwhile, all the money is going to go to pay debt to banks that we gave the money to but to begin with. That's absolutely correct, and basically it's the same old song and dance. Every government tells their people, you must make do with less so that we may have more. Unbelievable. Uh, I know you'd hope for the best with Obama, but uh, I heard you on your own show here on Genesis uh, uh, weeknights you know, say that this is a real betrayal. I mean, do you not feel sorry for those well-meaning people that – that you were against war and torture and thought Obama would stop it, and how they're just looking up at him like little puppy dogs looking up at their master, and he's planning to put them in a bag and throw them in the river? Well, as, as I was saying before you joined us on the air today, watching the faces of the people along the parade route, the expectation level is so high, if Barack Obama can't walk on water by the end of the week, there's going to be a huge disappointment. They have <laughs> oversold him. They have oversold him, and he's got this huge expectation. And he's already got this advantage. He's the follow-on to George Bush. He ha if he does absolutely nothing, he's still going to be seen as an improvement. But they've really raised the expectation level, and he's got, he's got to perform now. What really happened dot com, Mike Rivero, uh, in closing, do you think, because they've introduced the bills uh, to where the attorney general gets dictatorial power, that's what they do. Now. They pass a bill saying the Treasury and the private Fed can do whatever they want and can't be reviewed. This new law they're trying to pass, they've got a lot of co-sponsors already, and the media isn't reporting on it, allows him to ban any guns he wants just by signing an order. And, and holders on record saying he supports the D.C. gun ban and Chicago gun ban. Well, obviously, the, the power grab continues. I think it's very obvious that the uh, U.S. government knows that they've pushed the American people to the edge of re revolt. They're looking at all the rioting that's taking place across Europe. They're looking at the rioting that took place in Oakland. We're probably going to get more riots in California when the welfare checks stop next month. And uh, uh, the U.S. government is trying to figure out some way they can talk us all into agreeing to be completely helpless uh, droogs in their grasp, uh, you know, so that uh, the government can sleep better at night. I agree. We have this Michelle Obama video, and she goes, listen, things are about to get really tough, but we care about you. Just do what we say. I'm going to play that later. Just do what we say, and things might be okay. It's going to be painful, though. Meanwhile, we're having a $150 million party today. Yeah. And, 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 well, and me... Hmm? No, I was going to say, yeah, the parties are definitely go, going to go on. We saw with the bailouts to AIG, they throw themselves a party. Every one of these corporations that gets another few billion dollars of the taxpayers' money, the first thing they do is throw themselves a holiday. Mike Rivero, amazing analysis. It's great having you be a big part of the show. You're on every week now instead of once a month. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot, Alex. You bet. More phone calls and news and analysis and some video clips straight ahead. Stay with us. Defense of the Republic. Ah, yeah. Ah. 
Have you ever wanted to generate your own supply of electrical power? If so, this is going to be the most important message you will ever hear. Solar power generators are now available from solar.